The event is called Sherry's Run, but it has nothing to do with running. As you're about to find out, it's more about raising money for current cancer patients. It's named after Sherry Whitaker, who passed away 12 years ago at a young age of colon cancer with no actual symptoms. And she was an advocate for helping others through her church and through the community. And we wanted to start something in her memory. And this has just exploded into an explosion of grace. And I think she would be very pleased. Do her parents come to this each year? They don't. They actually live in another county, and so they come to an event that's in that county for her. This year, our event in Lebanon was last weekend on September the 12th, which marked her birthday, and September the 12th is actually her birthday. So it was, an, it was a great celebration, and we know that she's looking down from heaven and so excited about what her loss has caused and how many people it helps here in, in the county. How impressive is it for you to see uh, the response that you all get, you know, when, when, when Macon County people know that there's a need and then they actually come out and actually support this. They put their money where their mouth is, so to speak. Exactly, and I think the reason they do that is because they know that their friends and neighbors are being assisted through Sherry's Run here in Macon County with so many different things uh, because word of mouth is tremendous and, and anyone can make a referral to our organization for us to reach out to that family and see if there is a true need there and they need our services. But for them to come just knowing that the money that they donate today will actually go back to help their friends and neighbors here in Macon County. What kind of feedback do you get from events like this? Uh, it's tremendous. I'll tell you one of the blessings that I receive is when those families or those cancer patients come in that we've assisted and just to see the smile on their face and what it means for them to actually be at the event and thank the people who actually give, which helps them receive services from us. It's exciting. What is the bank's involvement with this? Why do you all take such a, a, major, a major role in, in this event? Okay, the reason that Macon Bank's gotten involved with it is because there are so many of the employees with Macon Bank that has come down with cancer, and few of them have also lost their lives through it. And so it's just a special thing for Macon Bank and Trust to be able to help Sherry's Run. What about this event it, it is so rewarding for you personally and maybe just for the bank employees in general? It's rewarding for me because I've also went through breast cancer. And so I was diagnosed in 2010 and went through chemo and radiation. So I saw firsthand what Sherry's Run could do because I was there getting a treatment one day and one of the ladies came in and she was so, so sad because it was a decision she had to make if she was going to do supper that night or if she was going to get her treatment that day. So she was talking to the doctor there and he, he said, wait just a moment, you're going to get both. And within an hour, Sherry's Run was there to give her gift cards so she could go and purchase her food for that night. So you've seen firsthand how it works? Yes, I have. And the ones that's out here working at the Macon County Stay of Hope, a lot of them, their family members have had cancer or they may have had cancer themselves. So it's just rewarding for us to just be able to give back to Sherry's Run, to be able to help Macon County because there's so many people in our county that has cancer. And it puts a burden on the whole family, just not that person that's got cancer, it puts a burden on the whole family. What does it say about the people of this county when they show up for events like this in large numbers? Like I've always said, when there's a need, Macon County always pulls together. And it stands true today. Here we are 10 o'clock in the morning, and look around and they're coming in. We've got antique tractor show going on over to our left here. And uh, we got an antique car show up, up the road just a little piece from that. They're already coming in with those antique cars. And when you say something about people needing help, here we come, Macon County as one. We help cancer patients 52 weeks a year. We actually have an office, we have a website at sherrysrun.org. We have an office telephone number at 615-925-2592 where you can turn in referrals or you can go on our website and print out an application and, and mail it into our office. So it, it's tremendous. Just like the weekend event aimed directly at helping current cancer patients. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.